What's up everybody, it's Caden York Family Gaming and today I'm going to show you how to download and install and transfer world saves from your PC over to your PlayStation 3. This is exactly what you got to do. Um, this is going to be good for if you want to get ahead in a game, say you're having a really hard time with a certain game, or say it's a game like Skyrim that takes forever and there's so many things that you have to unlock. Well, guess what? There are sites out there that allow you to download the world saves from other people that may have all the stuff unlocked and then they upload it to a really cool site their save and you're able to get it from the the pc and transfer it over to playstation 3 that's exactly what i'm going to show you how to do today this is what you want to do first first you want to start at your playstation home screen and go over to your users, and I would suggest that you create a new user profile because when you're transferring files and putting new ones up, your saves over, you don't want to overwrite a save that you've already got for a game that you've worked really hard at. So I would suggest that you create a new profile now. I've already done one. I've got two main user profiles that we normally work with, but we've got our little dummy one that is gonna be used for this video and for all of our saves as well. We've created a pooper duke, that's who we've got. Don't sign in right now, you don't have to do that until we get a little bit further on in the video and the tutorial. Go ahead after you've created your new user profile and scroll on over to this little game right here. Once you've done that, go over to your saved data utility for your PlayStation 3. When you do that, open it up. You don't have your USB. This is where you're going to need some extra things. You are going to need a USB flash drive, a valid internet connection, and a PC to do the rest of this stuff. So what you want to do, you're already in your game th in your game save data utility. You press that open. If you enter your USB flash drive right now, this is going to be the way that you check to make sure that it's working. I'm entering it right now as we speak. As you see that, a new thing popped up. It says USB device. That lets you know that your PlayStation 3 has indeed recognized your USB flash drive for your PlayStation 3. So now that we've got that connected, we're going to go ahead and unconnect our USB flash drive from our USB port in our PlayStation 3 and plug that over back into our PC. So go ahead and unplug your USB flash drive right now and I'll meet you over at the computer and we'll be plugging our USB flash drive in right there. So now we're back at our PC screen. Go ahead and enter your USB flash drive into your USB port right now. Once you do that, it's gonna bring up a little nice little pop-up screen saying the removable disc. If you don't see this when it first comes up, go ahead, that's okay. Just go down to the bottom left-hand corner of your screen to that little window start icon. Go over there, click on that, click on your computer, and when you do that, it's gonna bring up the little removable disc or your flash drive that just got plugged into your USB port. When you've done that, go ahead and open your folder to view your files. It's gonna look exactly like this right now, as long as you don't have any files already on your USB flash drive. Now, what you wanna do when you've, get, when you've gotten right here to this little area, right here in this little spot in the empty, the folder is empty spot, you wanna go ahead and right click right now and go down to new, select folder, we're creating a new folder. What you wanna do is make sure that you have your caps locked. So we're doing all cap le letters. We're making the first file folder PS3. We're naming it PS3 in all caps. That's the first thing you wanna do to get these saved files to work. After you've made the PS3 folder in all caps, go ahead and double click and open up your PS3 file folder. It's gonna come up to a new folder's empty screen. All you have to do is repeat the process basically. Um, right click the blank area, go over to new, create a new folder. Make sure in all caps that you call this one save data. That is S-A-V-E-D-A-T-A, -A -A. save data. Go ahead and double click and open up to a new folder. This is where you're gonna be putting the new save file that you're gonna transfer your PC saves over to your PlayStation 3. So let's go ahead and make sure that this is open. The folder is empty. We're gonna go to our cool little nifty site that we like to download and install our uh, cool world saves from our PC from. This one is called gamefax.com. That is G-A-M-E-F-A-Q-S.com. When you get here, it's gonna look exactly like this pretty much. And up there in the little search browser, go ahead and type in, we're gonna say for instance, Terraria. 
We want Terraria. Let's make sure it's not cap locked now, though. Take your caps lock off at the, at the moment. We're typing in Terraria, and we want it for the PS3. So we're doing Terraria PS3. We're going to go ahead and enter that into the search. It's going to bring up the best matches. There we have it. There is Terraria for the PS3. We're going to go ahead and click on that link right now, and that's going to bring us right over here to this page where it's going to describe Terraria for us and tell us exactly what the ratings and everything is. Right down underneath the word Terraria right there, the video game that you're looking for, is going to be a little home facts, cheats, saves thing. What you want to do is go over to the little saves link, click on that. It's going to bring up new world saves that people have uploaded for this game. We've got one right here that's a save game file, uh, Terraria, all armor, pets, NPCs, most weapons, 50% hollowed world. And we're going to go ahead and click on this save game profile right here. And once you do it, it's going to bring up the what do you want to do with Terraria B zip. We're going to go ahead and save it as, make sure that you're paying close attention to where you're downloading your file to because we're going to have to drag this file right on over to our desktop. So let's go ahead. We've got it going into our little pictures library in our transparent folders. So let's go ahead and save that right now. Terraria B zipped is downloaded and installed on our computer. Now we just got to find it. The only other step that you've got to do right here is make sure that you have some type of file extractor program on your computer. You can get a program called WinRare. Uh, for, it's a file extractor that you can get for free for your computer. Just type in W-I-N-R-A-R. -R. That's going to bring up all kinds of little cool downloads for this uh, software program so that you can extract all your files and unzip your folders because these saves come in zip folders and you're going to need WinRare right now. So go ahead and do that right now. We're going to go ahead and pull up our Terraria file and we're going to go right on over there and find it. Now we're in our little folder over here. We found Terraria. We're going to go ahead and grab it and pull it onto our desktop. Go ahead and do that right now. Once you've done that, we've got it centered right here. You can see the Terraria file. It is zipped right now. Now that you've got WinRare downloaded and installed on your, on your computer, you can go ahead and right click this file right here and go ahead and tell it to extract here. We're going to extract that. It's going to open up a new folder right here, which is the opened unzipped folder. So now we don't need this folder anymore. We're just going to go ahead and put that to the side. We've got our regular Terraria folder. You can see it in its entirety right here. Go ahead and open that up right now. What you're going to look for is this number file right here. Now once you see this number file, you're going to go ahead and plug your USB flash drive in to your computer right now. Make sure it's plugged in. We're going to open this thing back up. Let's see if we can find it real quick here. There it is. We're already back into our save data. So make sure that you're back into all of your folders. Um, if you don't know how to do that, if you already forgot, go ahead and open your files. Double click the PS3. Double click the save data that you've already got right now. And then we're just going to take this number file and drag it on over to our save data. And once you've done that, it's going to enter right into your USB flash drive and now you have got your world save of whatever game it is that you happen to be playing um, downloaded and installed onto your USB flash drive and now it's ready to transfer over to your PlayStation 3. Make sure that you are um, only dragging over this numbered file right here. You don't want to have let me see if I can find it. You don't want to take the whole Terraria and drag it on into your USB because your USB will not recognize it. So make sure that you're double clicking and opening the folder and that you've got the number file folder and you're dragging that on over into your USB flash drive folder. We'll meet you over at the PlayStation 3. Go ahead and unplug your USB flash drive now and you've got your world save and I'll show you exactly how to create your new world save on your PlayStation 3. Now that we're back at our PlayStation 3, go ahead and go over to your users area and sign in to your new user profile. We've got Pooper Duke all ready to go. Now that you've done that, go ahead and go over to your little game controller and go on up to your saved data utility for the PlayStation 3. Open it up, open up your USB device, and then there's going to be your brand new saved game that we just downloaded and, and installed from our PC and transferred over to our PlayStation 3. Click on Triangle to open up the little options menu and click Copy. 
right now it's going to tell us um, we're overwriting the same game. We've already got it installed on our PlayStation 3, but for everybody else that's doing it for the first time, go ahead and click yes right now. We're actually going to do that right now as well. And we're starting it right on over with this brand new profile and the uh, new game download that we just got. The copy is completed. We're going to open up Terraria. So go back over to your little game, open up your new game that you just saved everything for, and make sure that you're signed in to your correct profile, your new profile, and we're ready to go ahead and play. We've got past all that loading stuff. We're ready to play our new game. We've got a Goku profile. This is all brand new. We're going to select the Uno world and go ahead and start it on up. We're ready to go. We just got to wait for it to load. It loads pretty fast, the Terraria worlds they do. And as you can see now, we have just opened up and started our new saved world that we just downloaded and installed from our PC and transferred over to our PlayStation 3. That's it. This is a brand new world. This guy's chests are filled. It's got all kinds of stuff. It is done exactly as it was explained. Um, I've got all my NPCs here. I've got tons of chests. It looks like all the chests are filled with items, as you can see right there. So this is indeed working, and it works for your PlayStation 3 directly from your PC. So we're ready to go. That's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel for more video how-tos and tutorials from Caden York Family Gaming. If you run into any problems at all whatsoever, whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will try to help you to the best of my ability. Thanks for watching everybody. It's Kaden York YouTube. Subscribe today. Hee <laughs> hee.